when people ask um, me or my brother or my sister, um, you know, what was your mom really like? Um, I'm, I'm always at a loss for words because I, I think if you read the books, if you read the columns, that's really who she was. She wrote, uh, my guide to housekeeping is uh, as long as it doesn't multiply, uh, catch fire, smell, or block the refrigerator door, let it be. Nobody else cares, why should you? <laughs> and with lines like that, she won the friendship of millions and millions of, of women and grudgingly the friendship of many men as well even though she did say, God created man, and I could have done better. I'm going back to Dayton for the Irma Bombeck Symposium at the University of Dayton, held every year for writer workshops, writers, discussing Irma. Irma, I hear you live across the street from Phil Donahue. What's Phil really like? And Irma said, he peeks in windows. <laughs> I guess I'm the only guy on the stage besides Bill Bombeck who's ever been between the covers with Irma Bombeck. <laughs> I stopped writing my column over a year ago, okay? But every day, every day in Miami where I live, uh, and where my column does not run, has not run for a year, People come up to me and say, I love your column, I read it every day. <laughs> so my point is, maybe you can skip all this writing crap <laughs> because you don't have to necessarily write anything to be a beloved humor columnist. So. This is kind of a, a, a tribute to the, the, the live shows, that the, the reality shows that they have on television. Man, what is everybody's problem? I like being stranded. It'll be just like the Swiss Family Robinson, only with more cursing. We're gonna live like kings, damn hell ass kings. <laughs> I get paid to do this. How do you write so much humor if you're not in the mood? This is where drugs come into play. What, why do you think people come back to the Irma Bombeck Writers Workshop year after year? 